Well, hey, everybody, it's before the sermon. It's Sean and Pastor Steve. And Steve, what's coming up? Oh, right, your next verse. It's, it's always the next verse, yes. Uh -huh. So the next verse gets us into the topic called spiritual warfare. And this is pretty cool stuff. But before we go there, I just want to tell you about uh, a Puritan pastor. His name is uh, William Gurnall. You ever heard of William Gurnall? So he was in the 1600s in England, of course. And um, the Puritans are famous or infamous for like preaching long series on why everybody should say amen at the end of a corporate prayer or something. They hmm. just made everything long. They beat things out very thin. So he's got, a, I have a copy of his 600 page book now based on, it's his sermons on this next section in Ephesians, 600 pages. But here's the title. I think you'll get a kick out of this. This is how titles to books went back in the 1600s. So the title is The Christian in Complete Armor by William Gurnall. Hmm. And here's the subtitle. A treatise of the saints' war against the devil, wherein a discovery is made of that grand enemy of God and his people, in his policies, power, seat of his empire, wickedness, and chief design he hath made against the saints. A magazine is opened, from whence the Christian is furnished with spiritual arms for the battle, helped on with his armor, and taught the use of his weapon, together with the happy issue of the whole war. That's awesome. Should I use that for my sermon title? I mean, you'll have, have to... Have Gabby put that on a slide, and it goes up in front of everybody... As long as you're not plagiarizing. Man, so you know why they had such long sermon titles? Mm. They didn't have a, what do we call them, like the paper cover, the fly cover, where there's there's a blurb written in the front one and the blurb continues in the back one, and they tell you more about what to expect in this book. Yeah. This is how they would tell you, here's what you can expect in my book. But anyway, so William Grinnell was famous, or infamous, 600 pages for this thing. I actually read through that many years ago. Mm. I'm not going to read through it again for these sermons. But we're getting into the spiritual warfare part, which is super cool. The armor of the believer, you know, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness and all that. But I'm going to jump to a parallel passage that excites me about this whole topic, too, of spiritual warfare, where Paul in 2 Corinthians 10.4 writes, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh. They're not carnal. Another version has it. But they have divine power to destroy strongholds. So I can't wait to get into this spiritual warfare, the believer's armor and stuff, and hope that we're going to be using some divine power or seeing God's divine power present to destroy some strongholds in people's lives. Mm -hmm. I think we're out of time. Yeah, Thanks. we are. All right, I'll see you on the next one, Steve. See you.